Shabbat Shalom, Temple Sinai. Our synagogue is filled with lots of beautiful artworks. Right now I'm in the lobby. I don't know if you've ever noticed this picture behind me. Uh, what's interesting is that it's a picture of a woman. And Jewish art doesn't always show pictures of faces very much. In fact, historically, Jews didn't put humans in art at all. But even as that's changed, too often, the pictures have been of men, not women. And if you go look at a sculpture of a rabbi, for example, inevitably it will be a sculpture of a male rabbi. Or if people are studying a text, it will be men sitting there. The reason this is important, obviously, is because we as a congregation and a community believe in full equality. We believe that everybody is equal and everybody should be treated the same. Our Torah portion this Shabbat actually points us in this direction. We read in the Torah portion called Pinchas about the daughters of Tzalofachad. They were the daughters of a tribesman of Manasseh, and he died, and he had no sons to take his inheritance. And so they petitioned and asked, can we get the inheritance? And the answer is yes. The, Moses turns to God and says, what do I do? And God says, yes, by all means, go ahead. And so the women get their inheritance. The victory, though, is short-lived. It was written uh, as the Supreme Court would write a surgical uh, response, a surgical opinion to say, in this particular case, yes, these women, these daughters can have the inheritance, but after that it goes back and it's a different deal. So for one brief shining moment, women have equality in the Torah. Uh, as Reformed Jews, we of course are committed to making that not just one brief shining moment, but all the time. And so we work hard to include everybody in our community uh, and to, to recognize that gender is spread beyond just the two genders and that it isn't just a, a binary this or that, but that there's a whole realm there and that everybody should be treated equally and everybody should be recognized for the internal holiness they carry. I hope you'll join us this Shabbat as we explore Salofahad's daughters and explore the Torah portion. Services Friday evening are a different time and different place. Uh, they will take place over at Rodef Shalom Congregation. We are joining together with them for Friday night services. Uh, and there is a pre-oneg at 5 o'clock, services at 5.30, and then a barbecue immediately following. There will not be services at Temple Sinai on Friday night. Saturday morning, though, we have our usual schedule. So we have Torah study at 8.30 and the Minion at 9.15. And throughout the next week, all of the usual things. Um, Cantor Regina is going to be teaching the Torah class on Wednesday. Uh, so lots of opportunities to come and explore the Torah and to learn. And more than anything else, to come together as a community to recognize how important it is to honor everybody and to see that divine spark in everybody. So that the activities of Salofahad's daughters are not a one-off in one generation at one time, but rather are a hallmark of who we are all the time. Shabbat shalom for now. Look forward to seeing you at the temple.